Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought it would be a nice idea today because you know I do get a lot of watercolour on the channel whether it be my own original art or in colouring books I couldn't think of the word then, I couldn't think of the word. Anyway so I want to share today all of my paints from Etsy paints to um, to ink paint, ink watercolours I think that's what you call them to just branded ones, to tube ones, everything that I've got. So I will start off with these Ecoline ones because I do store these in a different place than the rest of mine. And that reminds me, I need to get my Etsy ones that are behind me. I store them in a different place as well. So these are the Ecoline liquid watercolours. Now I know you can't see it very well. And I haven't swatched all of these out. I mean I swatched them out on scrap pieces of paper when I first got them but I'm working on a watercolour swatch book at the minute I just want to get a nice uh, stamp for that but these are beautiful beautiful colours but I will warn you don't use these in colouring boots if they're double sided because they always bleed through come on camera and yeah they're just really really nice these and they come with a nice um, I forgot the name of them the squidgy thing, I'm not going to be able to open this now, am I? Where's my husband when I need him? There we go. Pipette. So you can drop the colour out and I just drop it onto a palette. So there's a decent selection of colours in this. I think it was just a starter pack, this, that I got. And I'm quite happy with this selection of colours. So we've got purple, pink, uh, reddish, orange, orange, yellow, and then a blue, green, brown, grey and black. So I can mix all sorts of colours just from these uh, 10 colours. So I'm going to pop these back and then we'll go on to the watercolour drawer. Now this drawer is a bit embarrassing, a bit embarrassing. Uh, I do need to reorganise it again. It's somewhat organised and I will mention I do have this e line one as well and I did purchase this one way before these and this is liquid watercolour so it is the same thing but this is a nice opaque now I did used to need a good shake I did used to mix this with ordinary watercolour paints to make myself pastel colours and that works quite nicely for that and then yeah I've used this quite a lot as well for like water splatters or making stars for galaxies talking about galaxies I had galaxy nails done so if I move it in the light you can see it's like a galaxy so that's the e out ones that I've got so I probably won't do this in any particular order it's just the order that they're in in my drawer I've got um. I don't think it is it an Alex drawer but the smaller version for my desk so I keep all my watercolour paints in there um, you will hear background noise I've got the door open it's quite warm this morning and I'm filming at half past eight in the morning <laughs> and it's still it's quite warm <clears throat> so even though this says Arteza this is not an Arteza palette I had points on the Arteza website to use up so I got a um, an empty palette and I started my own palette my own custom palette now all my palettes will probably nearly all of them will be messy like this and I like them to be messy like that because it shows that I'm using them it shows that I'm using them so I've only got space now for one two this one's nearly used up but this is a selection of all different paints <clears throat> we've got Daniel Smith at the top Daniel Smith we've got a couple of Daniel Smith here and then we move on no, that's all Daniel Smith. So all of this selection is Daniel Smith. And then we've got Winsor & Newton Pro's single ones that I managed to snap on eBay for quite cheap. Um, we've got one of the White Lights. I think it's White Lights? White Nights? White Nights watercolour. Because I just wanted one as a tester and then I realised that I liked them. So I did get the other palette. And then we've got my only sminker ones, which are one, two, three, four, five. These here, these are super granulated watercolours uh, we've got some more Winsor & Newton Pro ones these three here and then these ones at the bottom 
I don't know why I did this, I will take them out eventually. They are the Paul Reuben watercolour tubes, which I will show you, we will go over them. Uh, they're not my favourite, they're not my favourite, but when I first got this palette I had all of these colours at the bottom and I think I had five or six, one, two, three, four, five. I had six 5mm tubes of the Daniel Smith and then the collection just grew from there. So this is probably my most used palette, but purely because I've picked all the colours out myself. This palette is perfect for galaxies, which I like doing. Which I like doing a lot actually. I do need to refill a couple of these. I mean, that is practically non-existent, so I don't know why I've not done that. But yeah, that's my custom watercolour palette. Uh, we'll move on. I've got a couple of uh, Derwent ones here. My back door's going to shut and my, do my door's going to be locked outside. I'm just scratching at the door in a minute. <clears throat> is she alright? Yeah, she's alright for a minute. Uh, is that the only Derwent ones I've got? I might come across a couple more, I'm not sure. So we have... Which one's this one? This is my favourite one, the Ink Tense Paint Pocket. This is number two. You managed to get in? This is number two and this is perfect for galaxies. It does come with your water brush, little sponge. It's completely portable but I don't paint outside the house. Maybe one day, maybe one day if I go on holiday this is the sort of thing that I'll take with me. But so beautiful and vibrant these colours. They really do. I think these are brighter than the Daniel Smith but they work in a different way. They do work in a different way. You can't use these like them and you can't use them like these. It is two separate entities. So I think I've got the palette number one as well. Is that this one? It most certainly is. So if I show you side by side, you can get a 24 palette, which I purchased this one first realised how much I liked it and then I purchased this one and hands down like I said this one is my favourite but you can get the 24 set which will be a little bit more compact and then we have I know that there's quite a few of these out <coughs> this is my <coughs> excuse me least favourite of the three the graphite ones and when I first couple, first couple of times using this I was like why is it shiner why is it shiner and it's because of the the graphite in it and it took me a while to realise that and some comments off you guys as well for me to realise that colours are beautiful, they are beautiful but they're just they're not as pigmented as bright as these ones I don't think that's why I just prefer these ones I mean I'm glad that I've got it and I will use it for more of the um, I don't want to say dimmed but pictures that I don't want really really bright I'll go ahead and use that one so that is the Derwent palette or palettes I think that's I think that's the only three that I've got I will show you my other Derwent but it's not one of them palettes I have got the small set of ink tents blocks again I love these I would like to purchase the full set eventually I'm waiting until they come on a really good offer but these work basically the same as the paint palette but it's just the in more compact version you're getting a lot more I mean you could cut these up and make them into you know like to fit them into here and make your own little palette just from these blocks they are super duper pigmented super pigmented just like the um, pencils and I think I got this pack free with an order from Jackson's Art a couple of years ago and I'd only recently in the last six months brought that package open so I think it was like if you spent over a certain amount you got these for free or they were like £1.50, £2.00 they were really really cheap with that um, with that offer that they had going on oh I don't know why I've got these in here I need to take these out of here I got some cheap watercolour brushes now I've used I've only used these once once and I just thought when I want to do something a bit rougher and I don't want to because my favourite is the Princeton Neptune and I, I basically treat these like the porcelain. I'm really, really careful with them. So for pages that, you know, like when I'm a bit tired, I want to be a bit rougher, I will not use my nice brushes. So I got these, they were like £10. Like I said, I've not given them a good testing yet, but I've just kept them in the box. Maybe I should keep them out somewhere and then I'll remember to use them. So this is the White Nights. I keep wanting to say a white light. 
White Knights watercolour palette. And I, I, I don't know how many is in here to be honest, and I, I can't bother counting them. But yeah, really, really nice colours. And like I said, I got a single stock of one of the browns just to test out, just to see if I liked it. And I can't believe, I won't be able to show you because I don't want to wreck my nails, but is it, have I got a pen or anything? An old paintbrush? No, that won't fit in. I want to show you how big these paint... Uh, am I going to be able to do this? Oh, there we go. Can you see how big they are? It's a full pan of paint. I mean, this is going to last me forever. Forever and forever. I don't think I'll need to restock any of these colours. I mean, I've made a bit of a dint in that one, but that's the colour that I always use for Galaxies. Um, but yeah, really nice to work with. They're not as nice as like the Daniel Smith ones or the Winsor & Newton Pro, but they are, you know, they are nice paints. I don't notice any of these do the granulating thing. I've only recently learnt about that. I mean, I'm a bit of a beginner when it comes to granulation and working out how it all works. But yeah, all, all in all, you know, it, it is a nice palette, this one. I think it was about 56 or £58 for this full set, which I think is really good value considering how much paint that you get but with the paints being that big the palette is big and bulky and it's just I mean it's a decent plastic it's sturdy enough so I'll move that there for now um, I'll move on to my OG of palettes this is the first watercolour palette that I got and I will never get rid of that just for this reason I was shopping in Manchester and I bought this from Cass, Cass Arts I think it's called Come on, there we go. And you can see how used this is and there is paints missing because I've used them all up. I mean, that one's on its last legs as well. But this is the Windsor & Newton Cotman. And I paid about £40, £45. When in hindsight, you can get this cheaper if you wait for it to come on offer. But yeah, very messy palette. I've actually took out this insert. Don't know where it is. It might even be... I've got a watercolour drawer and then the drawer underneath it is like for old paint brushes, uh, masking fluid, masking tape, palettes, that sort of thing. So yeah. So I got interrupted then but I think I was up to talking about my OG palette. Yeah, I will never get rid of this. I probably won't use this much now. Um, maybe if I use like, if I want to do like a branded, uh, a branded, uh, a budget friendly watercolour palette I've, I've got this but i've got a couple others that are budget friendly as well but we'll see we'll see but i'll never ever get rid of this it, it uh, means a lot to me this night it is dirty <laughs> the lighting might have changed because i've had to shut the doors behind me because of the dog she's having a whirl of a time now i do believe that these are my most expensive palette that I paid, they were about 140, 130 pounds, something like that. But individually, I still think the Daniel Smith or the Sminker are more expensive than these. Really, really beautiful paints. Do you need these paints? Definitely, definitely not. I just felt like splurging at the time. I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I've got them. I've got them forever now, and these will last me a very, very long time. I mean, the half pan colours as you can see they're beautiful and vibrant they activate within a second of you adding water I mean I don't know what the ingredients are with this I'm wondering whether it's a bit of honey because can you see that the shiner it annoys the life out of me and we'll come across this in a minute when you get paints and they're all cracked and dry and they take forever to activate but these they activate beautifully I will try my best as well to link all of these paints in the description of this video but you know some things I might not be able to find some things especially the stuff from Etsy Etsy's because it's small business sometimes they just go out of stock or they just get rid of things but yeah that is my Rembrandt now I believe the light fastness on these are very very good as well I did use this on some of the water actually all of the watercolor paintings that uh, somebody asked me to do a commission on so i knew that they'd last these and the daniel smith i used so i knew that they'd last but yeah lovely palette i do prefer my paints to come in a tin i like the tin rather than the plastic 
and it does have one of these you know if you're outside and you're feeling fancy and you're painting like that but that, yeah that's not me <laughs> that's not me what else have we got we have this Paul Reuben palette I got for my birthday not last year the year before my sister and niece bought me this really really nice palette really nice palette I think this was about £60 £60 something like that something like that but I don't understand why I then bought the tube versions because that, they're the same colours that are in that custom one that I've made don't know why don't know what goes through my head sometimes but it does but these ones are nice and shiny as well if I just make them catch the light they're not as shiny as the Rembrandt I know, I, I know that saying that they're shiny doesn't really mean anything but to me it's like the glossy, they're easier to um, activate, they're smoother on the paper um, yep yeah, that is the Paul Rubens and I like the fact that it comes with a tin and the tin is pink I've got some stickers that I probably, I might put on, I've put them on some of my palettes uh, right we'll move on to the deco, is it deco? Prima, Prima watercolour. Now I do have a fair few of these and these are the first ones. So I bought the Winsor & Newton one very, very first and then I dipped my toes into different palettes. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love them because they were very, very early palettes and I was so excited to own these, so excited to own these. And they are beautiful colours don't get me wrong but because I'm using all these different bands paint now these are chalky they're very very chalky in my opinion they're unbelievably dry to the touch they take a long time to activate yeah they're, they're, done, they're not my favourite anymore if I come to the point of sorting out my supplies again these will probably be on the list to um, sell I, I'm not gonna lie but I do have the decadent pies I do have the pastel dreams and they all come with one of them little clips again now I do believe I've got a couple of single watercolors in here from a company called GD colors now I don't like these either I don't like these are not pigmented the yellow is better than the blue blue is practically non-existent and I paid about three or four pound just for this one and you can see it's a very similar colour to the one at the side of it but I keep it in here because of the pastel colours yeah I have used this quite a lot quite a lot but in my same opinion they're just very chalky they take a long time to activate they're just they're not they're not my favourite anymore they're not my favourite if they are favourite I do apologise but yeah, they're just not my favourite. Got a couple of Pokemon stickers on there. We've got the Vintage Pastels, which is this one. Which this is really, really nice actually. I do prefer the Vintage Pastels over the Pastel Dream ones. Really, really nice colours in some unusual shades like this dark rose, beautiful breezer, uh, terracotta suede. Really beautiful colours. But again, I just find them chalky. But they are, you know what, actually? They're not actually that budget friendly, these, because they're about 20 to 30 pounds, depending where you're buying them and where you are in the world. I know in the US they are cheaper. But I mean, for instance, this is my latest one, the, the current one, which is like sea colours. I think I paid about 27 pounds for this. And I mean, it's a small palette. And it's chalky, like, like I said, this is a nice palette though, the colours in it, if I can show you the actual colours on the swatch chart. So they are the colours, but you can see as it's dried there, they're just, they're even chalky to the touch. Yeah, it is what it is. You learn, don't you? And then the very last one is the Complexions palette that I got. And this was for me to start painting uh, skin tones. And if anything, this confused the life out of me because of all these darker shades. I'm thinking, why do I need that many darker shades? So I do tend to try, try being the word, uh, to mix my own. But oh, there you go, you can see in that one there. You know how cracked it is, and that one. 
I mean, they still work. They still work. Oh, there's a gold in this one as well. I remember thinking, why would you need a gold for a complexioned one unless you're adding a highlighter? But still. But yeah, that's my... I'll try my best to stop saying my because obviously all this is stuff I've bought or gifted to me. But that is the Prima ones. I know I said Deco Art again then. So now that we've gone through the Prima ones... Let me just double double check. Right, so we've got, this is a budget friendly one. This is the Pretty Excellent. Now the last time that I spoke about this palette, the name had changed. As far as I could see, the actual palette itself, the paints were the same, but I can't guarantee that. I mean, I'll go through, go back through my Amazon orders and click on this, and if the name's different, I'll just have to link it down below. If it's not there, if it, it's not there. But for a budget, budget friendly palette, this packs a punch. I use this a lot in um, Kirby Roseanne's World Within Worlds book. If you look back a couple of my videos way back when, and I was uh, using that book a lot, this is the palette that I was using. And can you see what I mean? These ones are shiny as well. There's no cracked ones. And I think this, this, this was about £10. 10, 15 pound maximum, maximum, and it's just brilliant. I used it was this this shade here. You can see it's got a bit of a an indent. I think I, I used that over a double page spread, two layers, and you can see that it's a tiny, tiny, tiny dint. So yeah, I fully recommend these paints for being budget friendly. They blend nice. They activate really quick. So that's the pretty excellent ones. I mean, I'm running out of space. <laughs> um, I just don't want to start on my metallic ones because that's a whole separate video in itself, practically. Um, I've got some gouache as well here that I want to share. So we'll go through. We'll go through these three for now. These three. So the, this brand is the new, I think it's Nuve, Nuve Co. And I did get these off Etsy. These are really, really beautiful paints. Some of them come in seashells. Now I've used these recently again. I've done Galaxies. I've used these in colouring books. Really nice paint. And again, you see the shine. Maybe it's honey in there. I have no idea. Super duper quick to activate. These do, some of the colours do granulate a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. This is my favourite from the same brand. This is the Galaxy set, which obviously in the name it is perfect for me. In particular, this shade. This shade here, I love it. Now, I don't know if these are named. If they are, I do apologise. Let me see if I can take some of these out. So they are Rock Pool, this one. But that one at the back is called Witching. Witching really really beautiful paints these again same as the other uh, as the others they activate lovely you can see that the shiner and i've not had any issues with them this is the one that i've had issues and i spoke about it recently now i've had a couple of comments telling me how to fix the issue with these and i am going to try that i am going to try that but these are unbelievably cracked and what i probably will do is move these over once I've fixed them into my custom palette to make me use them more. And I'll just keep the tin for something else, maybe for diamond painting or something. Come on camera. You're not having none of it, are you? There you go. There you go. But you can see the very tip there, that's this colour here that's just falling out. Now I look after my paints, I look after all of my supplies. They all have a home. I don't drop them. I don't like kids getting to them. I keep them away from animals. So they are well looked after. And for this to happen, and they've been kept in a drawer, they've been kept in a dark place, dry. I was a little disappointed because this was not cheap for this tiny palette. But yeah, I will try the suggestions and try and fix that and transfer them over to another palette. Uh, right, so... Oh, I did get gifted this recently. I have swatched them out. I won't open them up because there's just swatch cards. I did get gifted this recently. 
and it's the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Mineral Marvels. This is beautiful. I'd never tried the the shiny watercolour from Daniel Smith and I probably shouldn't have got this because I want to try all of them now and there's a couple of shades specifically out of this that I would love to have a half pan even though they are uber expensive. But yeah, they're, they're just beautiful paints these. I had a whale of a time swatching these out. I'll just show you maybe one. I've got two there, have I? Two. Right, for instance, this one. So they just come, little dot cards. And I have made a painting, actually, with, with these cards. Um, that one I really like. Is it Jubilee? Jade it? Jean? Genuine? Oh, this is a shiny one at the top. And I never realised, like I said, that Daniel Smith... My camera's just playing funny beggars. Uh, I never realised that they did shiny watercolours. Why, why, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? So yeah, I've really enjoyed playing with them and it's given me a good idea of things to add for my wish list and for, for me to buy in the future as well and for birthdays and whatnot. Um, so like I said, before we get to, into the metallic ones... Oh, this is heavy. I'm just double checking that I've got everything. So this is the Paul Rubens tube watercolours. Now I keep all of my tubes in here, don't judge me. <laughs> I need to find something a little bit more acceptable because I am running out of room. But you can see I've got Daniel Smith from 5mm to, I think, is it 15mm? 15 mil, and I've bought these from all different places from Jackson's Art, Amazon, Cass Art, is it? This colour here, Random Grey Special Edition by Sminker. It's so unusual, so unusual. I've not got anything, anything like it. But these are the ones that were in this box originally, and they're the ones that I transferred over to my custom palette. I do actually prefer, if you if if you ask me, I prefer the tubes over the pans but in saying that I use a lot of paint and let's say if I'm on a, a painting fiasco <laughs> one month and I'm literally painting every single day I can use half a tube of one of these up easily easily because I do use a lot of paint I've got a couple of the gouaches there they are a couple of the gouaches the reason that I've got a couple is because they sent me two by mistake and I weren't uh, complaining <laughs> So it's just white gouache, really, really, really opaque. So that's all my normal watercolours. I do believe I am scanning around my room and there could be the odd one that I've missed out, but I don't think there is. I don't think there is. So I'm going to... I don't know where I should move. No, I should be alright. I should be alright. Let's move some of this back. Make a little bit more room. So... I've got gouache as well. I've just got one, one palette of gouache. I think one's enough because I don't use it all that often. Um, so yeah, one was enough for this. Artex, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now these are all crumbly, but they were like a jelly, jelly consistency and they activate really, really well. These, I mean, some of them, I'm not dipping my finger in there, but some of them are still all right. And these are super fun as well for just galaxy backgrounds and it's the perfect palette as well I'd go with the pinks uh, the blues the purples and then the really dark navy and then I get it everywhere and then the white is really really good it's like the the Winsor and Newton one is it Winsor and Newton yeah that gouache I'm going to be able to get the lid back but I'm happy with having this there is a couple of others that I've seen but I thought no no I don't need any more gouache I don't use it all that often but it is really nice to have it now, let's move on. I'm not going to show you the swatch charts on this. And I'm just going to try to show, show you in the best light that I can. But this is my collection of metallic watercolours. Now, I'm not buying any more watercolour, metallic watercolour, unless it's something that's totally unique on the market or like you have to try it. Like there's a painting here. I don't want to say but I think I was one of the first ones that saw it and I know a lot of you subscribers and a lot of my friends as well have bought this paint that I'm going to talk about shortly in here. Unless it's a paint like that in that palette I'm not going to buy it because I'm a bit 
dubious about keep buying paints and keep buying things that I'm not going to use. I don't want to become a hoarder and I've already done a massive clear out. So I'm unbelievably happy with my collection that I've got now. And like I said, I don't feel the need to add to it unless it's something. Excuse me. I choked on her then. <laughs> Unless it's something unbelievable that I really have to try, I needed to go and get a drink. I don't know how that's possible, only me can do that, choke on her. <laughs> so let's just make this a little bit tidy, then we can go through it one by one. So the ones that I keep in this little acrylic case, now I've been asked a couple of times where I bought this, and I found this, it's a Muji, Muji case it's called, Muji. And it was a shop in the Trafford Centre and it was, I originally bought it, excuse me, I originally bought it for my makeup and I stored my makeup in this for years and years and then I brought it down and started storing art supplies in it. But you can get different knockoff versions of this for dead cheap. I mean I've got a knockoff version upstairs that I actually keep my makeup in that was about £10 from Primark. Obviously my important stuff going, going here. <laughs> so let's take some of these out. Now I do tend to... I didn't realise I had earrings in there. I wonder where they were. I'm going to put them in in a minute, actually. Um, I do tend to keep, like, cards and stuff that come with it. Like, I've got me and my husband go mad on when Monopoly's on at McDonald's. Uh, mostly my husband, he'll go mad for collecting all these. I don't know why I've still got these. They need to be chucked away. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the bag that one of the paints came in. I'm a sucker for stuff like this. I mean, I'll probably never use it for anything, but I like to keep all of it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so this is my custom one. Now, this pencil case was a... It came with the Derwent Colour Soft Pencils, five pencils. It's like a trial set, and it was like five pounds on offer. And I've reused it and popped in some of my Etsy watercolours. Now, we'll start off at the top. These are the planet set from KJ Designs by Karen. Now I purchased these second hand off Facebook for a, a, reason, a really reasonable price. All these, all the way down to here, so not them. All single stock, single stock that I've purchased myself. I think these two colours here aren't, they are GD colours. But I'll just pop them in here because they fit nicely. But yeah, the rest of them are single stock. And then these ones at the bottom is the Ocean Set, again, by KJ Designs by Karen. And then ones I've got glitter in. So yeah, I've made that into a nice size palette for myself. And then we have... These are what the uh, original KJ Designs by Karen tins look like. And we're going to be able to open this with these nails. Oh, there we go. So this is a mixture, I think, the, I think it's called Archie's Watercolour and then the G, J, GD Watercolour, there's too many brands, there's too many brands to, to remember and I think this came from like a grab bag from one of them companies, again I do apologise but I'm not swatching anything out on this video because it would be a million and one years long. Um, I'm planning, like I said, to swatch out all of my paints. But I, I don't think it would be a very good bit video, I think it would be boring for you guys, so I probably won't film that. But I just need to be a little bit more organised, I think. But yeah, I'm not showing any of the swatches off on these. <clears throat> Again, this one has come from a grab bag, so I've just kept them and reused my little palette. We'll go on to the Renaissance, I'll, I love this brand. I feel that posh saying the name as well, Renaissance. Renaissance always makes me laugh. Um, the palette's ever so slightly broke though, but that's probably my doing, being a bit rough with it. But this is the paint that I was talking about. You can see how much that I've used, and that is a, that was a full, full pan, I think. Was it a full pan? I can't quite remember now. The magnets come off, I need to glue that back on. But uh, yeah, that colour didn't come in this set, and I don't think that colour did. Or one of these, I can't remember. I can't remember, but this was one of the sets. Absolutely beautiful colours you can see at the top there. I mean, they do look different because they're swatched on black paper. 
but if you if you're gonna listen to me about one thing and take my advice about one thing then get this paint this is it's either called chrome or it's liquid chrome liquid chrome it is absolutely beautiful from adding little accents to your page or to using a lot of it to make it really sparkly and I've used it even painting on canvases and then sprinkling it on it literally looks like a glitter bomb has gone off on the page it is that beautiful so if if all these paints went out of stock and I had to pick one this would be the one that I picked the liquid chrome a million percent so yeah, I'll, I'll stop harping on but that other set is called crown, crown jewels she comes she come out with some other new stuff but like I said I'm only buying things now that are exceptionally different from what I've got I keep an eye on her brand more, mostly over anything else although I do really like the KJ designs by Karen uh, and then this came with like a grab bag you know all different dot cards for me to try the colours there's all sorts again I've only swatched them on the day of my purchase and these, like when they arrive, sorry. Uh, I haven't put them into a book and swatched them that way. So where am I missing? I'm missing, oh, this one. Now these cute little tins, they came with mints and I bought them back from Florida and I've just reused them. So this is GD colour. Now these colours here that are glitter, you, you think, oh gosh, aren't they beautiful? I hate them. I hate them with a passion. You can see how much... I have, I've not used that, I've dug into it to try and get the glitter out, they're atrocious. You put it on the page and you might as well. I think I'd be better off with my dog sneezing glitter on my page, I'd probably get more glitter than these, these paints. I really despise them and they weren't cheap, they really really weren't cheap. And then when they do go on the page and they dry, they just rub off. Yep, yeah, I really don't like them, awful in my opinion, awful. But I've kept hold of them because it's wasted money. Whether I use them or not, I might give them to my niece. My niece will probably like them. Yeah, she'll probably enjoy them actually. Anyway, that needs to go back in there. And then I've got these palettes here. Now one of these, I think it was this one that was gifted to me, I do believe. I can't remember the names because I don't keep the um the swatch charts in them which is silly. But this is a colour one. I've got three of them I think. So this is like an iridescent one, really pretty, really pretty. And then I remember that this one was the Galaxy set one. Me and my galaxies are really pretty. And then I've got the original gold. This one is uber, uber pretty. But this is what I mean, like I've, I think I originally bought this and then I was buying off Etsy gold paints. Why? Why do I need all these different shades of gold paints? I mean, they're very, very, very similar. Why do I need them all? Don't know. Like I said, I've stopped myself from doing that now. The Ganza Tambi Pearl Colours, really recommend these. Fabulous for the price. And then the set of gold, again, really, really nice paints. Uh, we've got the Paul Rubens, the iconic, these paints. I think everybody's seen these. And I have actually got my swatch charts handy with these and I remember treating these again like the porcelain when I first got them and they come with um, a what was it called cloth one of these both palettes did and I used to not I used to refuse to use it how stupid so yeah I use it now I use it and it's very handy very handy indeed I've got loads and loads of washi tape um, in that drawer I just buy the cheapest ones possible for when I'm just doing watercolour and it seems to do the trick on the watercolour paper that is it works well on my watercolour paper but yeah these were a gift from my father-in-law a couple of birthdays ago I think it was like three birthday birthdays ago now again why have I felt the need to go out and buy all these different shiny paints when they're so similar I have no idea but I know that I'm not the only one uh, we've got another one for Renaissance Colours. This was a countdown to Christmas. So you open one each day up until Christmas. Beautiful palette. Beautiful palette. I purely bought this because I was curious, number one. And number two, I wanted to open up all of them at the same time, mind you. Or in one day to do a video for you guys. They were expensive. They were really expensive. They were about £60. 
Would I buy them again? Probably not. I'd buy a couple of the single ones in bigger sizes. But again, you live and learn. Now this one was a bargain. I've done a video dedicated just to this palette. I will link it up here somewhere or it'll be in the description. This was a bargain. It was about £15 and it was on a... Oh, let me try and open it. I'm going to need a knife for you. These long nails. Oop. I'm not going to be able to open this, am I? Well, there we go. I was opening it upside down, that's why. <laughs> it was about £15, maybe like £2 postage on top for all of these beautiful colours. So if, you, if you're interested in this, oh, I put that on too early, haven't I? I've damaged that. That'll be alright. Uh, if you're interested in this, I've done a video dedicated just to this palette. It is fabulous. Do I prefer this over this? Yes. Over this? Yes. Over some of the Etsy ones? Yes. I do prefer my Galaxy ones because, you know, it's Galaxy colours. But still, if I'm going to purchase a palette again for the money, I will purchase this again. I've even nosed at other ones and then stopped myself and thought, you don't need any more. You don't need any more. So this is probably, between this and the Renaissance, they're the, the, the two that I recommend of the metallic watercolours. But I think that's everything. I think that's everything. There's probably going to be an odd paint here or there. But that's all my watercolours as far as I'm aware. I have given stuff away and I'll, I'll do the same again when we come to move in. I'll go through all of my stock. <laughs> all of my supplies. And if I've not used it in 6 to 12 months, I'll be either selling it if it's worth selling or giving away. I've got friends that are into art and I've got my niece as well. My two nieces that are into art. So I could always pass them over to them. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I do like watching these sort of videos myself because I'm probably one of the most nosiest people in the world. So if you're nosy like me, then please do leave me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing? Subscribing to my channel if you're new. I do try and upload two or three times a week. Depending, depending on a lot of things. But anyway, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.